The views expressed on the following program do not necessarily represent those of this station or its management. It's time now for Where You Live with Gene Sullivan, the show that deals with the news and events that affect you the most. Whether you rent or own, live in an HOA, single-family home, or an apartment building, Gene will tackle the issues right where you live. So, from the True North Painting Studios, here is the original man of steel, Resolve himself, who stands for truth, justice, and the association way. Here's Gene Sullivan. Hello everyone, welcome to Where You Live. I'm Gene Sullivan and I'm broadcasting from the True North Painting Studios. When you're looking for the right painting contractor, what do you look for? Isn't it someone who will respect you, your time, your property, and your budget? That's what you can expect from True North Painting. Find out more about this exceptional company by going online at truenorthpainting.com. That's trunorthpainting.com or give them a call at 952-831-1433. I'm also brought to you by the great folks at Extreme Exteriors and American Family Insurance, the Kim Bennett Agency. As always, I want to give a big uh, hello to the man who makes it happen, the man on the board, the man with the plan, Christopher Wyderp Huberty. How are you, Chris? I'm good, Gene. How are you? Uh, all right. Uh, it's a little bit... Uh, uh, a little bit concerned today. My wife and I have uh, a dog. We have mm-hmm. a terrier. And uh, anybody who's got a pet knows that they get to be just like family members. Right. And we've had our dog for uh, over 11 years now. Wow. And uh, she's in surgery today. Ooh. When uh, dogs get uh, older, they have teeth that start going bad. Right. And uh, I guess there are some teeth that need to be pulled some teeth that have gotten abscessed and and so it uh uh it's something that uh, she's uh under uh the knife right now and uh man you just you don't realize it's uh something both both my wife and I are just have been uh a nervous wreck and will be until we can pick her up at uh, oh, at the sure. end of the day today you know so I'm sure she's going to be fine she's in great hands but uh Still a little nerve wracking. Yeah, it, it is. Uh, did you grow up with pets? I had a gerbil, and I had a dog briefly, which I'll be getting back in about a year. Oh, okay. So, a gerbil, that's like a pet. It is. It, <laughs> uh, it kind of kept to itself, and my wife bought a hedgehog recently. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. I, 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 can you actually call them a pet? Will they I mean, interact with, with The you? hedgehog hates everything, hates the world, uh, and if, he, if you get close to him, he just kind of spikes up, and it's awesome. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, that uh, that that says a lot. So, well, well, let's uh, let's get on with our our show. We've got a lot to to cover, and so we'll begin with property management in the news. Property management in the news is brought to you by Home Furniture and Abbey Floor Coverings. Their showrooms are staffed with professionals who will help you choose what you need to fit both your lifestyle and budget. Whatever you need, chances are they'll have what you're looking for. If you wish to avail yourself of special pricing you won't find anywhere else, all Where You Live listeners, call Customer Service Coordinator Lori Matson at 952-224-2663. I have a couple of uh, items that uh, I'd like to bring up uh, this morning. And uh, as uh, always, uh, one uh, person's... uh, Opinion and thoughts I have hold in high regard is someone who's been on the show many times before, and he's on with us now, attorney Dan Greenstein with Bernick Lifson. Hi, Dan. Hello, Gene. I'm stumped trying to figure out if a gerbil is a true pet or not. Oh. <laughs> did you grow up? Did you grow up with pets, Dan? Dogs, 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 dogs. Okay, yeah, a, a real, a real pet. I think yeah. if if you call the pet and they and they don't come or at least look at you, then I question whether it's a pet. <laughs> well, that that I guess uh, under that definition, you could probably negate a number of cats. That yes. uh, probably some will look at you. 
some will look at you. Um, I, uh, a good friend of mine used to have a cat by the name of Puppy, and when you called the cat, it would come. Really? Yes. So, uh, you know, uh, my, uh, my uh, daughter and her husband have a cat, and the, that cat only listens to her. Uh, everybody else, everybody else is non-existent in that animal's world. But uh, exactly. to her, she she is the center of that cat's uh, uh, universe. Well, hey, we want to talk to you about uh, a few things, Dan. Here's something that we've experienced just recently, and I don't know if uh, you have heard of this happening before. And this is what I'm going to, you know, call the the arbitrary nature of HUD uh, in being involved with uh, FHA recertification that we have to go through for condominiums. Sure. Uh, we've got a client in South Minneapolis, and uh, we've gone through the FHA recertifi- recertification process uh, over two years ago. And uh, we got them, uh, we put the package together, everything that they wanted. Uh, we kept it, knowing that we're going to be able to submit it, uh, submit things uh, two years uh, later. Now, there's a couple of things that, uh, additional things that were being asked for. But mind you, a lot of what we had together was already looked at by HUD over two years ago and approved, and they had uh, their FHA uh, certification good until April 19th of this year. So we started the process uh, the, uh, back in January, uh, filling, uh, making sure everything was together. Early February, it went out to, to HUD. It came back in March, and uh, they uh, were saying that uh, they were denying FHA recertification, and get this, uh, because the table of contents that describes on what page you can find everything that they're asking for was not placed on letterhead. That was the big egregious sin that had been uh, committed, but here was the thing. They said, uh, uh, even though we gave you April 19th as the uh, end of the uh, time period of being certified because things weren't submitted correctly now and we're letting you know in mid-March the association as of this date is no longer certified. Have you heard of such a thing? Oh, my God. You know, I, they, I think they started doing that this calendar year. And, you know, what we found, we, we do a lot of those FHA certifications for homeowner associations, and, and what we found is that they treat a renewal application like a new application. So if for any reason they send it back to you, you're, as of that moment, rejected. And even though you should be certified, in your case, I think you said through April 19th, That's right. they take it as of the date they're looking at the materials, it's either a yes or a no, and that's what they put in their record book. And it makes absolutely no sense, and it, it, it kind of uh, is unfair to the association that's trying to keep their certification because they've already been certified till April 19th, and now they're, they're taking it away simply because you were trying to get ahead of the curve and have them recertified. Yeah, and you, you know, uh, having gone through this process for a number of clients, too, um, uh, the, the process, it just gets longer and longer, additional questions, additional information that they require. And uh, so it, it can be a quite lengthy packet after everything is said and done. And, uh, you know, we are, we've been trying to do it early enough so that if there is something where they say, oh, we didn't understand something or we need more clarification – we can provide it because the end result is you want a smooth transition for your client. You know, Gene, it, I, I, I really believe what I'm going to say in, in my heart, and it's, you're going to think I'm, I'm kidding, but I think a few years ago when they changed the rules so that you have to recertify every other year, I think they didn't really expect the onslaught of paperwork that they would receive and have to go through. Yeah. 
And I don't know if they subbed out some of this work or they simply haven't trained their staff well enough because depending on who your, your paperwork falls in front of, there's a lot of things that they don't view the same. In other words, the standards change depending on who's reviewing it. Yeah. And we've had many cases um, where we, we, we have a packet rejected, and they'll tell you, you know, they'll give you a hint why something to do with the insurance requirements or the leasing provisions. And we, we take the same documents, and we, we bought these big stickers with an arrow where you can write a note on them, and we show them where they're wrong or where we have the right language or whatever, and we send it back to them, and often it's, it's accepted. So I'm afraid they've made, they've made their position more important by requiring this recertification every other year, but at the same time, I don't think they've got a good process in place to really handle all this work. I, I, I would agree uh, with you on that. I, a part of it seems uh, very... Uh, very, very old school in that I, I think the only way that you can communicate or that they desire to be communicated by is through U.S. mail. I know we had, re- we had received a, an email address uh, because it was uh, inadvertently put on there when uh, someone was returning information back to us. And uh, so we tried sending information in, uh uh, to that person with attachments, thinking, oh, good, now we can just expedite things. Their very next email to us is, but please do not send anything by email. We're not, <laughs> we're, we're not going to respond. A few years ago, we made the mistake of naively trying to call them. Oh, was that a mistake? I, I'd rather try and call the IRS. Oh, yeah, you probably get through a lot quicker. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, hey, I got a few more things I want to talk to you about this. Uh, and a few other things, but we need to take a break. Uh, Folks, we're talking to attorney Dan Greenstein. Have you heard of such a thing with uh, FHA recertification? Maybe you're pulling your hair out as well. We're going to talk to you a little bit more about uh, some things hopefully you can do to stay ahead of the game here, but we'll take a break after, be back after these messages. 